Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Channel Site's latest webinar, coming to you live from our headquarters here in Dublin, Ireland. Thanks a million for joining us. It's really great to have you all here, and I really hope you enjoy today's session. So I'd like to start off firstly by introducing myself, which would be the polite thing to do. My name is Colm O'Dwyer, and I'm head of brand partnerships here at Channel Site. Um, so myself and the rest of the team here, we, we work with big brands every day to help them succeed at e-commerce. And obviously crucial to this is their strategy on Amazon. Because today it's not a question of should your brand be selling on Amazon, but how exactly you're selling on Amazon. So we will have time for questions at all. If you have any questions at all that come up throughout the, the course of the presentation, please ping them in the message bar. And we'll have time at the end to address them. So to say that Amazon's come a long way since its 1994 beginnings as an online bookstore is, well, it's a massive understatement. It currently boasts staff of over 600,000 people and Amazon is, well, it's everywhere. Now here's a quick fun fact for you. Every time you watch Netflix, Amazon's actually pairing it. That's because Amazon is actually the world's top provider of cloud computing. So if you think of the likes of Airbnb, Spotify, Ticketmaster, um, Pinterest, SoundCloud, and WeTransfer, they're some of Amazon's huge clients as well. So whether it be cloud computing, entertainment, healthcare, literally just think of an industry, Amazon's on it, or at least it has plans to be. Um, I suppose because in an age of unrelated differentiation, there's really no telling what sector Amazon is going to disrupt next. Okay, so, but really, it's, uh, it's Amazon's role as an online retailer and what that means for your brand, that's, and that's what we're focusing on today. Um, a quick Google search throws up countless facts and figures that all say the same story. Amazon absolutely owns online retail. But these two facts really sum it up nicely. Um, if, if you were aware, I, I, I wasn't, that Amazon actually accounts for half of every dollar spent online in the US if you can imagine that. And in 2016, Amazon actually accounted for 34% of US retail GMV. And that's actually set to increase to 50% in 2020. So some pretty staggering figures there, I'm sure you'll agree. Um, but you know, brands really shouldn't fear them. They should be excited by them because at the end of the day, Amazon is not a private members club. Within reason, it actually op operates an open door policy. But it really, it's not enough just to list your products in there and hope that they're found and that they eventually sell. You really need a clear Amazon strategy that involves cross departmental collaboration and a whole new set of rules to inform it. So in today's webinar, we're gonna cover the nine key ways your brands can optimize this. So let's get started. So our first tactic here um, is gonna be more of a mindset, which is that four core values must form the bedrock of your Amazon strategy and inform every aspect of it. We call these the new rules for retail, which you can see in front of you here. They are customer centricity, followed by innovation, agility, and lastly, partnership. So we'll go through each of these one by one. So first up, we have customer cent centricity. So Amazon is absolutely famous for being obsessively customer centric. The lesson, the lesson here is to be the same. Um, because at the end of the day, that's really what Amazon wants and that's what the algorithm rewards. And that, that's what brings your brand big success. So always bring every proposed tactic back to the consumer. You have to empathize with them put yourself in their shoes and ask how will it affect them? So now we think about things like, is it convenient? Is it going to make their lives easier? Will it save them time? Will it save them money and so on, okay? So if the answer is yes, your strategy is on the right track. Otherwise, you really better get back to the drawing board here. Secondly, we have innovation. So yes, Amazon has disrupted the retail, uh, retail space and caused a lot of headaches for brands, but really it's all about perspective, okay? So the smart approach is to view this disruption as an opportunity, not as a threat. You can now rip up the rule book and you can play the disruptors at their own game here. 
So this means you really need to take a microscope to your current business model and ask yourself, okay, what needs to go? What needs to stay? Is it some of it, all of it? You know, think about what maybe you can reimagine. Perhaps some little tweak to your delivery service or package sizes could really blow your e-commerce wide open for you. Okay, so no idea is too crazy, literally, as long as it better facilitates new digital path to purchase on Amazon in some way, you're absolutely on the right track. Okay, so thirdly, we have agility. So on Amazon, the only constant is change. Okay, so whether it's changes to the algorithm itself, it's advertising products, it's content offerings or the delivery services, Amazon is constantly changing to meet the, I suppose, ever evolving expectations of the new and modern consumer. So your brand, as a brand, you're gonna have to evolve with this. Otherwise, you're going to be outflanked by new digital first competitors whose success is driven by agility. So absolutely make sure you're watching Amazon like a hawk here. Our fourth and final new rule for retail is partnership. And arguably this is the most important of all because too many brands waste time trying to compete with Amazon and that is an absolute recipe for disaster. You need to partner with Amazon and partnering with Amazon is the only winning approach here. To get the most out of this partnership, ask yourself a very simple question. What does Amazon want? The answer, which you'll be glad to hear, is also quite simple, is that Amazon wants to sell product. So help Amazon sell your product. Unite in putting the customer first. Send them engaged traffic. Deliver them content and leads that converts. So on to our next slide and second tactic, which is to optimize, so the, the, for the second tactic you, to optimize your brand strategy on Amazon is with your product detail page. Okay, and this is really what can make or break most sales. So there are many ways to drive sales on Amazon, but no matter how sophisticated they are, they will be wasted if you don't get this right first. Okay, thankfully, you'll be glad to hear there's no great mystery to the product detail page. Getting it right is quite easy. Just strip it back to the basics and approach it to exactly how you would the offline shelf because essentially that's what it is at the end, at the end of the day. Okay, so the basics of your shelves in a physical store, if you think about it, are you have to have competitive pricing, healthy stock levels, informative, eye-catching merchandising, and lastly, helpful staff and busy aisles. Because without these four things, you can forget about it. Who wants to shop somewhere that's you know, either overpriced, that's poorly stocked, that's messy, and lastly, lacking in information with bad customer service and deserted aisles. Okay, so we're gonna apply these offline shelf basics to the Amazon shelf. So price point, which is the first, picture here, uh, uh, image on the slide. Pricing is one of the main influencers of conversions. Too high, you're gonna lose them. And too low, your margins will suffer and potentially your sales as you risk giving the impression your products are poor quality. Okay, so stock here, secondly, your product can't be bought if it's not in stock. An obvious but common, common enough pitfall. Uh, thirdly, content. So ensure the essential product information is presented clearly with strong supporting imagery. Okay, so use multiple product shots for, from different angles and views and the likes of, you know, maybe lifestyle shots showing it out of the box and actually in use. So you have to remember that consumers can't try things on for size in the online store, not yet anyway. So content here really needs to compensate. Okay, lastly, conversion influencers. In a physical store itself, staff are usually there to help customers and answer their questions. The online equivalent is a product detail page enriched with as many Q and A's, ratings, reviews, and other user generated con content impact on, um, on conversions. Sorry, I'll say that again. So the, the online equivalent is a product detail page enriched with as many Q and A's, rating, reviews, and other user generated content as possible. So it's really this social proof that builds a crucial consumer trust that has the most impact on conversions. 
So lock in consumers and drive sales by answering Q&As and encouraging and incentivizing reviews and other user generated content on Amazon. Okay, remember here that your product detail page is your online shelf. You need to keep bringing everything back to that. If it's messy and it's lacking in information and conversion, conversion influencers, you will lose sales. But if you get it right, you're going to drive them. It really is that simple. Okay, so now that your digital shelf is in top condition, you want to minimize chances of a competitor stealing your customers away at the last minute. Uh, we, ha we, we, we see this happen a lot on Amazon, thanks to product level data. And that's just one of the data sets that we specialize here at Channel Site. So product level data, which you can see here on the left-hand image, is an itemized breakdown of everything a consumer puts in their basket and purchases, both brand and non-brand. And the insights it provides are invaluable information for strategy going forward. Okay, so quick, let's think of a quick example uh, that, that compares offline to online here. So if you can imagine a consumer goes to a supermarket to buy a specific brand of biscuits, they reach the checkout and see another brand on special offer. They then remove the biscuits they came to buy from their basket and replace it with the rival brand on special offer. Product level data reveals the same thing regularly on Amazon. A consumer lands on your product detail page full of purchase intent, ready to buy, then they're only to be presented with a competitor's sponsored product ad, and then you lose the sale at the final hurdle due to a cheaper price point. The trick here is to sponsor your own products. Aim to brand lock your Amazon product detail page with your own alternative and complementary products so competitors don't steal your customers away at the point of conversion. Okay, so our, this brings us nicely onto our fourth tactic, which is product bundling, and it's made for Amazon. So it offers increased savings and convenience to the consumer, which in turn helps your brand and Amazon sell more product together, and therefore everyone's a winner. So there really are endless opportunities for bundles. Our product level insights provide great in inspiration for them. For example, perhaps you sell cameras, uh, just in, as an example, and you see many consumers are purchasing memory cards and cards and camera bags with your cameras. The logical move here is to create a discounted one-stop shop bundle of all three. Okay, so the main uh, categories uh, of bundles, which you can see here, are either seasonal, which is such as a back to school bundle, a gift, such as a new baby bundle, or convenience, um, su such as a car cleaning bundle. Okay, so the main rule, it, the main rule when it comes to bundles is that it, they consist of complementary items that, when packaged together, enhance the customer experience. So, on our, brings us to our fifth tactic, uh, which is driving external traffic to your Amazon listings. It may sound pretty obvious to you, uh, but your consumers aren't mind readers. So if you are selling on Amazon, you need to let them know and you need to drive them there. There's no one size fits all approach to how you do this. It really does depend on your products and target audience. But the key channels are email, organic social media, paid social media ads, search network ads, and content marketing efforts such as blogs and video posts. This is a nice segue into channel sites where to buy technology. It's actually one of the best ways to drive external traffic to your Amazon listings. And we do this in four ways. So this is how we, how we roll, how channel sites, channel site rolls. So we may aim to make all your content instantly shoppable, allowing you to capture engaged users where the buying intent is at its absolute highest. We then want to connect those engaged users directly to your product pages on Amazon where they then compete their purchase without competitive distraction or any delay. With channel sites as well, you know, you'll have a brand performance team where we can actually met where you as well can measure the sales activity and give insights into the entire user journey from source and first brand interaction 
right through to the purchase on Amazon itself. Okay, and lastly, we highlight which content has the highest sales impact on Amazon, so marketing budgets can be optimized to improve future ROI. So optimizing for search is another hugely important tactic for Amazon strategy. Most online shoppers be begin their journey on Amazon itself. And indeed, not only is Amazon more popular than Google as an e-commerce search engine, it's actually more popular than all the other search engines combined. Okay, so shoppers even visit Amazon purely for product research. So search engine optimization on Amazon not only helps drive sales on the platform, but it can also drive sales on other channels through increased brand and product awareness. A9 is the algorithm that ranks Amazon search results. And as you'd expect, the higher you rank, the better you, you sell. And the better you sell, the higher you're gonna rank. Okay, so without overthinking things, um, understanding that feedback between search optimization and conversion optimization on the product detail page really is essential to your brand strategy on Amazon. Okay, so when you're optimizing your product listings for search on Amazon itself, you need to keep in mind the main factors A9 considers when ranking, and they are, as you can see in front of you here, first point is text relevance. Okay, so the product title is particularly important and should include product, brand, quantity, material, and color. Secondly, stock, if you're out of stock, your listing may be pushed far down the list or disappear entirely. Furthermore, when you're out of stock, Amazon actually may take its time to reinstate you to your pre out of stock position. Thirdly, price. So a large gap in pricing with competitors may actually work against you and sales. So again, the more you sell, the higher your rank. Amazon provides plenty of tools to help you drive conversions. Okay, so I'm gonna go into a bit more detail on the four most powerful tools Amazon provides, so then you can then in turn use them for your 2019 plans. So as you can see in front of you here on the screen, Amazon advertising. So um, Amazon is it's now an increasingly powerful advertising medium. Okay, so what it actually, it's still in third place to Google and Facebook for digital advertising in terms of its market share. Its position as a search engine and channel for brand and product discovery and awareness means it's actually challenging, challenging that duopoly, okay? So today brands need an advertising strategy for Amazon just as much for Google and Facebook, okay? So Amazon advertising, for some reason, it's not a priority for many brands. Um, and a recent study by Catalyst and Clicks found that 17% of marketers say their companies have a clear defined strategy for Amazon, for, well, for Amazon advertising. And then furthermore, only 15% say they feel, it's, you feel, they feel they're actually using it to its full potential. Okay, so pretty uh, interesting stats there. So you really need to make sure your brand isn't one to neglect an Amazon advertising strategy. It's, it's far too important, All right? So the Amazon buy box, this is, this is the white box on the right of the Amazon product detail page where customers add products to their cart. This is prime Amazon real estate and can really boost your sales. But, it's not easy to win it, okay? Criteria for, for this include the following factors. First of all, first off, you must have a professional seller account. Metrics like your order defect rate and late shipment rate, along with aspects like price and positive customer feedback are very important. The better you perform, the higher your chances of winning the buy box your product must be in stock or the box will rotate to another seller. So don't make that simple mistake. Okay, uh, lightning deals. So a lightning deal is a time bound, I suppose a promotional offer where product is featured for a limited number of hours on an Amazon deals page. But like the buy box, lightning deals eligibility requires you and your products to meet certain criteria. 
I'll list these out for you. So for the lightning deals, products must have a sales history on Amazon and at least a three-star minimum, a three-star rating minimum, I should say. Um, products must be Amazon Prime eligible. And lastly, deals should include as many product variations, um, for example, size, color, style, etc. So as many product variations as possible. And lastly, fulfillment by Amazon. Okay, so this is a very attractive service, ensuring customers receive the most efficient services possible. With fulfillment by Amazon, you send your inventory to Amazon and then they take care of the rest. So when one of your product sells, Amazon fulfills the order, they package it, packages it, they ship it, and they handle any customer support issues or any returns. So really it is quite simple. So on to our second um, last slide here, or last point. Prime Day, as I'm sure a lot of you are aware, is one of the biggest events in the e-commerce calendar and it's growing every year. It's really important to bear in mind that Prime Day, it's not just about sales lift on the day. Prime Day also delivers a long-term sales lift. Okay, so simply put, Prime Day attracts more customers to Amazon and with that exposes more customers to the brands actually selling on it. So as such, brands really must have a strategy, I suppose within a strategy to prepare for it and seize the absolute opportunity that it represents. So yeah, last but not least, number nine, using the data wisely. So there's, there's valuable data behind every click on Amazon. So make sure you really, you don't waste it, okay? Ensure its collection and analysis, analysis is woven into every element of your strategy because this, and because this is where you'll get the insights to optimize it. But this can take a lot of time and expertise. Okay, so alternatively, you can use the likes of, again, channel sites where to buy technology, and we'll do all the hard work for you. Okay, so channel site solution delivers you all the most useful and insightful data in easily accessible and user-friendly dashboards as you can see in front of you, and a quick snapshot of one. Not only this, but our dedicated client performance team is always here to guide you through it and advise you on how best to use it. Right, so we've had a couple of questions coming in here um, just in the chat bar. I'll do my best to, to answer them now. So the first question we got is, I got a bad review on my Amazon product. Should I respond or remove it completely? Um, really, what I would suggest, suggest is to work with customers who've left negative reviews and then try and flip it into a positive, okay? So you can do this by showing some great customer service and try to actually fix the issue they're facing. Um, you, know, you never know, you might actually change that review into positive ones. So it's important not to ignore it or leave it fester or just delete it because that customer will just come back. Okay, so the second question we got is, how do I enhance the customer experience on my product detail page? Um, so there is a number of different ways you can do this. As I mentioned, I think it was in, tac yeah, in tactic four is product bundling having bundles available for different seasons and categories is a great and convenient way to keep your customers happy um, and you know and furthermore to this it's always great to keep your product detail page really relevant and up to date okay i think that's all we have time for today if we didn't get around to any of your questions please rest assured we will we do have them all on record and we will get back to them soon so you should expect a response to them fairly, fairly quickly. So thanks everyone for joining us today. I really hope you, you found this session valuable. Uh, the webinar slides and recording will be shared via email with everyone later on today. If you'd like to learn more about anything we covered today, or if you have any questions about ChannelSite 
and how we can help your brand on Amazon or in any other way, uh, please feel free to contact me or visit our website, channelsite.com. I put my email and our website here on the screen as well. So yeah, that's a goodbye for now. And yeah, we hope to see you at our next webinar. Thank you, everyone. Take care.